Hello everybody, welcome back to Burnt Church. I hope everybody's having a good day. It's a cold morning here. It's about seven. We're fixing to start to work here in a few minutes. We've had a lot of participation with our map and I thank God for it. And any of you that's new here, just leave a comment of what country or what state you're in. And we'll put a pin on this map for you. It's just to see how far out in the world Burnt Church is reaching here on YouTube. I'm just walking out here this morning getting a little exercise. I'm gonna check on the equipment out here where we've been logging at. We're gonna go on a scouting and exploring trip here on a different part of the property than what we usually go on. It seems like I move around more nowadays whenever I'm hunting than I ever did in the past. Maybe why I don't take very many deer anymore. <laughs> I don't go on this part of the property very often. And I thought it'd be nice to bring y'all along with me. We got an unexpected find here. And you'll see what it is towards the end of the video. And I'll explain more about it then. A lot of trails in the sky today. What kind of trails do y'all think those are? Somebody's hunting right on the side of the road. They got them a stand there. <laughs> I think that's where they sit and wait on the school bus whenever it's raining or snowing. We're gonna try a new spot here if we don't get run off. I'm gonna be hunting on our property. I've always parked here in the past. We may come back with a sign on the window. Like I said, I always park here. Where I'm parked at is on our property. This road is on the other people's property. They ain't never cured before, but I think somebody new has it leased now, so I may have a run in with them. <laughs> Look what I found here. That's a big fruit jar. I may take that with me when we leave. Somebody's been throwing their trash out right here. There's a big screen TV. Some tires. That's over on our property over there. Somebody's thrown over here. This is a spot I don't usually come to very often. There's an old dish pan. It looks like it's been thrown here for a pretty good while. It's a beautiful day today. Me and my son's come up here hunting. I've got a funeral to go to here. Uh, probably in about two and a half, three more hours. One of my close friends, and he's married into our family. His mama passed away, 101-year-old. I kept meaning to go and talk to her. She kept her mind real well up, right up to the end, and pretty much stayed mobile right up to the last six months but I kept meaning to go talk to her and maybe film talking to her and I just you know how it is life gets in the way and I never did do it and now it's too late she had so many good stories she could have told us I know it probably won't mean a lot to any of y'all but here where we live at it takes us Close to three hours to get to Memphis, Tennessee. And that's on our good highways that we've got now. And I remember one story that she had told before. And I probably won't get it right. But she remembers riding to Memphis when all the roads were just gravel. She rode in the back seat of an old car to Memphis and back. And talked like that was a rough and long trip back then on just gravel roads and I could imagine that it would be it would be bad because like I said it takes three hours right now for us on interstates to get there so you probably talking a good day's trip back then whenever she went could you imagine all that dust on a six hour ride in gravel <laughs> this is a part of our land right here that the timber hadn't been worked on in a long time. 
the rest of our property the timber had been worked on pretty good but in this corner over here that we're in right now they didn't they didn't know where the property line was i don't reckon and they didn't work it so there's some really big timber over in this corner we got some timber down over here on this corner of the property that i didn't know about there's a big red oak and a real nice cherry see if that cherry's rotten I think it still has some good boards left in it. Right here is a deer's bed. You can see the leaves mashed down right here. It looks like I probably run him off. Or run it off, whatever it was. You can see a track right over there where it spun out when it was getting up and leaving. I only see one bed here and when I see one bed it makes me think it was probably a buck usually a doe they'll run with two or three in a pack but this is just one big bed I don't see any more around here this is one beautiful little spot right here I forgot how pretty this little place is. That sunken in place up through there, that's an old road bed from back when they had horses and buggies. There's lots of those sunken roads all over this property where they traveled through here back then. I guess they would come down through here and water their animals, I guess, the horses or mules. We have a pretty little place right down in here for a little cabin. You can find these rocks like this right here piled up. Just different places all over the property. That's where Daddy walks around here. And he loves those rocks. He used to lay these rocks on house foundations. And that's why he would pile them out. If he ever got a job and needed some rocks, well, he'd come over here on the branch and pick these up that he had piled out. I think those are like a sandstone. They're not a limestone. And they split real easy. Like this one right here. You could take a hammer and hit right down this seam. And that would split into two rocks. This is the remnants of these two old roads. One down below this beech tree and one right above it. I wonder how long they had to travel these roads before they got cut down this deep in the ground. Cause like I said, they, I find them all over the woods out here. I've done quit hunting. I'm just walking around looking at things now. <laughs> I walked up on somebody's shooting blind here. And I don't know whose it is. They way over on our property. I've taken it down here and set it up for them. I ain't got anything to leave them a note. So maybe they'll take the hint and come and get it. If it's still here in a few weeks, I guess it'll be ours. There hadn't been anybody asked to hunt. So, I ain't got no clue whose it is. My camera battery kind of went out on me here at the end of the video. But that blind and stuff I found, as soon as I started walking away from it, I found a camera that had an antenna sticking up on it. Well, I knew that antenna sticking up meant that it was sending sending pictures back and forth to whoever this belonged to. So I didn't get in front of the camera. I sneaked up behind it 
and took the camera off the tree and carried it back down there and laid it in the seat there on top of the blind. So I had everything for them piled up there ready to go. Well, I figured that by moving that camera and letting them see the seat and the blind taken down, that whoever it belonged to would come get it. And I was going to leave them a note, you know, tell them that we really didn't want anybody hunting there on the property and that nobody had asked and we'd appreciate it if they would get their stuff. And it could be the people that has leased that land next to us. If so, they came a long ways over on our property, probably 500 yards or more. So I don't really know who it belonged to. But anyway, I didn't have anything to write with. So I went back to the truck and went and picked my son up. And we was coming back and I was going to leave a note. Well, when we come back there <laughs> and I got ready to walk down there where the blind and stuff was to leave the note, it was all gone. So whoever it was, they was either watching me or they was real close by one because they got over there and they got their stuff real quick. <laughs> but I wasn't by no means going to steal their stuff. Well, you really wouldn't call it stealing. It was set up on our property. You know, in the past when I was younger, I've trespassed on people's land and stuff. And I've been caught, and I've been run off nice, and I've been run off mean. <laughs> and I would way rather somebody run me off nicely than to run me off in a real mean way, which it's up to them. It's their property. They can do what they want, but I usually respect them a lot more if they do it nicely. So maybe they got the hint and won't be back over there. I would have really wished that, I would have got the note on it before they came and got it. <laughs> but my goodness, they was there and had it and gone in less than 30 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, I thought this was a fun little video to make. And it was unexpected. I had no idea that we was going to find anything like that there. So I hope everybody's staying warm because it's sure cold here today. And I thank you for watching. I pray God blesses you. And I'll see you in the next one.